I am, I believe. Yes, that's quite right, Dan. As far as I know, they've never met. But there should be a lot of uh, touch, I think, Dan, on the court today. Both of them feel the ball well on the racket. They both like to attack and volley. And both have superb games for grass courts. So Hannah Man Manlikova played that lovely match against Tracy Austin in the wind at Eastbourne last, last week. The week before now, of course. Um, but she contrived to get to 6-1-3 love. And then the match slipped out of her fingers. She plays so well up to a point, and she did the same against uh, Chris Lloyd in Peru during the Italian Open Championships and in the semi-final of the French Championships too. She wins a set, but doesn't seem to be able to quite capitalise on on her advantages. Do you see her in as a prospective uh, Wimbledon champion one day? Well, I think she has to break through that barrier. She has to win matches win uh, beat one of the top mm. four i think and uh, convince herself that she's capable of doing that mm. she certainly has the ability but it's one thing to have the ability and another Two thing minutes, to prove please, it ladies. so the umpire john palmer of dorset warning the ladies that uh, it's about time to start And doesn't uh, Hannah come through, of course, the hands of the former Vera Sukova, who was a finalist here many years ago, who has done so much in the coaching and training of the uh, young players in her country? Yes, indeed she has. She was finalist here in 1962, I think. And yes, uh, she's an all-round player, and she knows precisely, Vera knows precisely what it takes to win here at Wimbledon, and uh, she's coached quite a group of them. Yes, you're quite right. It was 62, and... Um, uh, she lost, Sukova lost to uh, Karen Sussman. Karen Sussman, yes. I think the busiest place in the Wimbledon today is the ladies' locker room. Six out of the eight women's matches today are all on at One 12 o'clock. And the Women's Tennis Association trainer is busy loosening up sore wrists and sore shoulders. And she's looking forward to 12 o'clock, I think, when they all go on court and she can have a cup of coffee in peace. <laughs> I know Chris Everett Lloyd was having her shoulder warmed up and she said that's the problem of having such a great serve and smiled because everyone knows that Chris's serve isn't the most uh, best asset of her game. Eve on serve is it's so loose, so easy for her. It's a lovely stroke. She's such an attractive player. Please get ready to play, ladies. Well, sure, we'll be able to see that service uh, straight away because uh, Yvonne Corley is opening this fourth round match, please. the match of the round of the last Mrs. 16. This is Corley to serve. Quiet, please. Play. Fifteen, love. Forty, fifteen. Forty, fifteen. 
Game to Mrs. Collins. First game. Well, a nice easy opening game in for the uh, number four seed, Mrs. Corley. Yes, it's a nice quiet start for her indeed. I feel that Yvonne hasn't really played to her full potential at Wimbledon for several years, perhaps since injuring her Achilles heel here in that match against Martina Navratilova. She's got a nice fluid style, but sometimes it's difficult uh, for her to peak at the right time. As Dan said earlier, her concentration isn't always the best. She was a member, supposed, of the Australian Federation Cup team, but wasn't able to compete because she wasn't well. And the same with the French Championships. But she played at Chichester this year, where she lost to Chris Lloyd in the Ms. final. Ms. Koba, the serve. Love 15. Fifteen all. Good. First service. That was a foot fault called, and uh, this young lady is very prone to foot faulting. She tends to put her forward foot very close to the line and then she, as she serves, she twists the, the foot onto the line like that. Fifteen forty. So two brain points for Mrs. Corley. And you spoke to her, I believe, at Eastbourne, did you not, about her foot falling? Yes, I just mentioned it before she went on court mm. to watch her feet, because the British umpires call it more than they do abroad. Net. First have it. in love. Like all these talented players, you'll get the impression sometimes that they're very careless. by Mrs. Corley, of course, but uh, I think she should have been passed on the other side of the court. Good. 
passaves. Game to Mrs. Collins. Three games to love. Mrs. Corley leads in the first set. And Mrs. Corley, I think, relishing the uh, the sun, Anne. Yes, she cert certainly started off very coolly and very collected today, making the most of her advantage, I think, in experience. I think uh, Hannah Man Manley cover is nervous. I feel it's her first appearance on the centre court this year. She's only 18 and it takes a while to settle down. And of course to be foot faulted early on doesn't help at all. You can see she puts her first, her front foot, left foot very close to the line and then swivels it as she gets up to hit. And if she's not careful that foot just touches the line. And of course if as she is doing here she's moving towards the net it gives her an advantage and it is undoubtedly against the laws of the game and has to be called but it is distracting especially early on when she needs needed her first service at 15 all in the last service game to collect her confidence Well, let's see if she can settle down now. Love three. Love 15. Now that's the rather poor error that this young lady is guilty of. Has been since she uh, started playing senior tennis. Oh, that's a beauty. Love 30. Nicely played shot and under a bit of pressure there. Rather calm and rhythmic backhand. Second service. Oh. Forty thirty. To Miss Mandikova, Miss Corley, Mrs. Corley leads three games to one, first set. And Hannah Mandikova certainly settling down in that game, winning it to 30. It looks as though she's now got uh, 
Got her eye right in. In the tram lines, it's still just a little bit greasy, still a bit of sap in the grass. Fifteen forty. Rather badly ha uh, mistimed half volley from uh, Mrs. Corley there. So two break points. Corley leads three games to two in the first set. Well, that equalizes the uh, break of service that Miss Mamikova lost in the second game. And uh, that was rather a weak game by Mrs. Corley, Anne. Yes, I have a feeling that this match hasn't really got going yet. Both players still feeling their way. But noticeably then, I thought that uh, Yvonne showing a little frail, a little more frailty, but that Hannah was starting to move much more freely, was moving to the seat of the bounce more and attacking the ball more and uh, sliding one or two passing shots down the line, which will give her some confidence. Betty Stove is, uh, is helping Hannah Manlikova with her, her game. And Betty, of course, lost to Yvonne on Saturday. There's, there's Betty sitting in the front row, just in front of Roger Corley. Betty played a long match against Yvonne on Saturday and has been helping Hannah recently. They practiced together yesterday. Fifteen love. First service. First service. Fifteen all. Well, that's one double fault apiece now. But this young lady who's serving now, she's five foot eight. She's nine stone two, just the figure for a good server. Oh, that's a sweet volley. Thirty all. 
Lovely timing when you hear the gut ring in the racket like that, you know it's been struck well. Forty. That lovely backhand gives a break point to Mrs. Corley. Magnificent. Game to Mrs. Corley. Mrs. Corley leads four games to two in the first set. And Mrs. Corley keep, keeping as uh, cool as a cucumber there, as she won that rally with the volleying pass, but the girl from Tekos and Vakia should have won that rally. She had a couple of really good chances. 4-2. 15, love. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Corley leads five games to two, the first set. And Yvonne, I think, uh, making the most of her extra experience, both at Wimbledon and on this court. She's taking her time, she's not rushing at all. She's playing adequate strokes, nicely inside the lines. Yvonne very rarely aims for the lines, you'll notice. She aims just inside, so it gives her some room for error and also she's being helped by the mistakes of her rather erratic opponent she's looking a little dejected as with a lot of inspirational players i think she's currently looking for some of the inspiration to start flowing Five, Hannah serving with the new boys. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Love. Game to Miss Man 
Andrikova. This is Corley leads by five games to three. An unusual that for Mrs. Corley to uh, jump unnecessarily at a volley. Usually she keeps her feet on the ground if it's possible and plays them quietly. That was a very crude stroke for her, but she's serving 5 3 for the first set. Just out. Love 15. Oh. Give me in. Got the distinct cry of out. unusual because uh, there was a distinct cry of out from the lines and we thought and probably overruled by the uh, chair umpire John Palmer the score is 15 all now that's out 15.30. Somewhat indecisive lob there by Mrs. Corley. Oh. 15.40. So two rather cheap points for uh, Hannah Mandlikova here to have two breaks. <laughs> to Miss Mandlikova, Mrs. Corley leads five games to four, first set. Well, Anne, that was rather reminiscent of uh, what we used to say, or what her coach, Vic uh, Edwards, used to say, she's in one of her walkabouts. She, she played that game really rather sloppily, didn't she? She did indeed. Uh, both these players seem intent on giving their advantages back to their opponents. So one rather expects it of the younger player, but I would have thought with the experience of Yvonne Corley has that she would have really concentrated hard on that game wasn't really much that her opponent did to her, it was uh, purely her own errors which gave away the service game. Hannah, I think, is still looking for some of that inspiration. Nothing seems to be flowing. She's not really moving freely, and the strokes are not flowing freely either. This often happens, I think, on this centre court. Sometimes the place and the occasion is a little bit too big for these players. Perhaps as the match progresses, she'll get better. The main thing from her point of view, I feel, is to stay on the court as long as possible at this point. Five, first set. Ah! Love fifteen. Well, that's no way to hold your service when you uh, need it to keep in the first set. Fifteen all. 
15. Now served one ace apiece. To Jim. Thirty all. You won't see many more rhythmic backhand passes than that. It wasn't a bad service either. Oh. Yes. Forty thirty. The server got in very, very quickly behind that service. She was right on top of the net for that volley. Just out. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. Games all. So three games in a row for 18-year-old uh, Hannah Mandikova, coming from 2-5 to 5-all, one break of service, of course, in those three games. And not playing well at the same time. A lot of individual good shots, but not having really good rally play. 5-all. It's in. Love 15. Good. First service. Second service. Best rally of the match so far, I think. Thirty fifteen. Okay, 15. Okay. 
Mrs. Corley leads by six games to five in the first set. Well, that, that, stopped, uh, that stopped the rot. Three games in a row for uh, Hannah Madlikova. And uh, Mrs. Corley winning that game to 15. But signs of, uh, signs of better play there. And they certainly couldn't have better conditions then, could they? No, it's beautiful today, isn't it? The sun's shining, it's much warmer. The court is nice and firm. And Yvonne, for a change, they're getting some first services in, and what a difference that makes. When you get your first service in, as Yvonne did in that last game, she can take command of the court and take by, by approaching the net and hitting some fir much more firm volleys. And she was helped, too, by this second point. She was love 15 down and struggling a little bit. And a short serve, which Hannah didn't take advantage of, just played it quietly. And Hannah's deciding to attack the forehand here, the, usually the weaker wing. But that's the danger, because Yvonne has that beautiful slice, wide and short, which, as you can see, opens up the court completely. Five, six. Fifteen low. They're serving for the second time to stay in this first set. Put fault called. That's the second time in the match she's been foot faulted. Oh, I see. That's a loose one. Fifteen thirty. Well, that really must have been lack of concentration or eye off the ball. That was a dreadful stroke. Thirty all. Game ball. Tie break now comes into operation. Mrs. Corley to serve. Tie break as a result of that fine forcing forehand from uh, Hannah Mandicova. So Ann Jones will take you through the tie break. And that's what I've been waiting for Hannah to do, to make a move on that short second serve of Yvonne's and take charge of the point. One love.
just out. This is Paul Edison. Pretty well judged, wasn't it? One, two. That's what's called going for broke, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> Pretty good that time. Miss Manley Cover to serve three two. Change ends, please, ladies. And Hannah glowering at her racket there. She should have made that volley, I think. It was a good return by Mrs. Corley, but I feel Hannah got there. She just didn't quite direct it properly with the head of the racket. So two breaks and of service to each girl. So nothing in it. This is a big point, Dan. Mm. Yvonne taking advantage of that short return of serve, particularly on her forehand. Her slice carries her so naturally to the net. Miss Manley Cover to serve. Five, four. And the linesman called that. He couldn't have had a very clear view of it because Yvonne blocked it just behind the line. But the call was quite correct. Five all. This is Corley to serve. Five six. So this is set point then for Hannah. It wasn't a particularly good serve of Yvonne's, but Hannah again decided to go for the big one. It's always a big decision, that, to know whether to play safe and make your opponent play the ball, or whether to go for the winner. So it couldn't be more even. Six all, six all. So 
So that rather weak forehand of Yvonne's gives Hannah another set point, this time on her own service. Yes, there it is. And first set to Miss Mandlikova. Seven games to six. Services from Miss Mandicola. This is Paulie. This is Paulie. Service is with Miss Mandicola. This is Paulie to serve, and the it's a change of balls, I think. Oh, it's no, the, the, the ball boys have sent the balls down to the wrong end, and it's Hannah Mandicola to serve. Mandicola to serve. Having won that first set, 7 6, and the tie break score, 8 6. So the number 9 seed about to serve to the number 4 seed. 15 love. <laughs> 30 love. That's a marvellous rally. 30-15. A colossal volley off her knees by the Czech girl, but what a pass by uh, the Australian. Oh. 30 all. Forty, thirty. Foot fault called again. That's her third foot fault. Deuce, opening game, second set. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. First game, second set, Miss Mandlikova leads one set to love. And one of the interesting things to me about uh, this girl, who really is a highly promising player, there's absolutely no question of that, is that she doesn't get upset a bit about her foot faults, does she?
Well, well Anne, I think um, I think she looks as uh, as good as a player could look at the moment. You know, she a good yes. run and she's away with this match. I think. Well, I think she's got, obviously got some confidence from winning the first set. But every time she seems to be flowing freely, then comes up the quick, the foot fault, which loses the momentum for her again. Mrs. Corley to serve. And it's out, it's just out. 15 love. So, 15 love, Mrs. Corley serving, but the opening game to Miss uh, Hannah Mandakova. Forty love. And look, that looked a much more vigorous, a much more um, attacking service from Mrs. Corley. Threw the ball much more forward and really lent onto it. Set. And Mrs. Corley, the great favourite here at Wimbledon, as she's all over the world, getting a big hand there for that love game, and she really looked as though she was much more determined then, really got down to the job. One all, second set. Fifteen, love. Forty love. Very heavy service then. Fifteen. She twists this foot. You see, the heel will come up towards the line. Game to Miss Mandy Kerber. Two balls, please, boys. Miss Mandy Kerber leads by two games to one in the second set, and by one set to love. Always surprises me, and of course, that uh, a player can't stand just three inches further back and obviate obviate any possibility of foot faulting. But I thought um, Billie Jean, in that uh, previous game, which he won to love, uh, Mrs. Corley rather, I thought uh, she really did look as though um, she'd settled down a bit, didn't she? Yes, she, she. I don't know. They both give the impression of settling down, and then they seem to play one or two stupid strokes, and all that confidence goes. It's a very PC match. And yet, of course, um, Mrs. Corley had her match here on the centre court on Saturday against Miss uh, against Betty, Betty Stowe. Yes, one always expects them to play better, and one knows they can. But it's, it doesn't seem easy to get some really great women's matches on this centre court. Yvonne looks relaxed enough. I'm sure the determination is there, even if it's not shown.
One, two, then, second set. Not up. Fifteen, love. Oh, I see. Thirty, love. Well, that was an unnecessarily ambitious shot. A really quiet push across the court would have made a lovely angle and probably a winner. Thirty, fifteen. Thirty, forty. So the badly played backhand by Mrs. Corley gives her opponent a break point. Rather a late call, I thought. I'm sure it was correct, but uh, it was certainly late. Played. Game. To Miss Manley Cova. Miss Manley Cova leads three games to one, second set. I must say, Hannah Manley Cova, when she plays like that, so gracefully and without strain, she really does look a lovely player. Leading, is... leading 3 1 in the first set, 7 6. Fifteen, love. Love. Quite lovely low volley that. Oh, oh. Thirty fifteen. Oh, beautiful valley. Forty fifteen. And Mrs. Corley there, surprised by the covering, the net coverage by her younger opponent, covered the net beautifully, anticipation and athletically. Forty thirty. Back, please, boys. 
Thank you. Forty fifteen to Deuce. Yes, it was in. Advantage, Mrs. Corley. And right over the highest part of the net there. Cobra leads three games to two, second set, and by one set to love. And Hannah Manlikova here, she's taken Tracy Austin to three sets this year, she's taken Martina Navratilova to three sets this year, and Chris Lloyd to three sets two or three times already. Can she do it this time? She's a set-up and three-one-up, and then somehow she gets herself into trouble. But when she's playing well, these are her features. 15-love in this game she was, last game played. And a beautiful flowing action on the serve. Straight into the net. And now Yvonne Corley is making a comeback too. Two, three. Quiet Second is. set. Fifteen, love. Thirty, love. She thinks it was a let. 40 love. Hannah Manlikova appealing for a let. But in fact, Mrs. Corley is really opening up once again in a big way on her service. Corley was 1-3 uh, down in this set, and she was certainly let off the last time Miss uh, Randlick over-served. Love 15. Fifteen all. 
15.30. All that brought about, of course, by the uh, drop shot that was rather poorly played. First uh, stroke of the match, uh, the rally. Thirty all. So three games all, thirty all, second set. Foot forward on the second service. 30, 40. That's the fourth time she's been foot forwarded, but the first time on the second service. That's her fourth double fault. Four games to three in the second set. It's Manly Kova by one set to love. Well, then I was a bit surprised at the uh, the Australian's passing shot there because it really was a very fine second service, wasn't it? Yes. Well, of course, Yvonne possesses these strokes, and we and we know she does. But uh, sometimes they come through, and sometimes they don't. And it's very hard to quite determine what it is that brings about these these great shots, and then the weaker ones. With Yvonne, I know we always say it's her concentration, but there must be a little more to it than that at times. And Han Hannah Manlikova again seems to be wasting a golden opportunity. One set behind her and 3-1. And everything flowing really well. But suddenly everything goes again. She plays herself into trouble. Now the advantage is with Yvonne. 4 3. Oh, I see. Huh. 15, love. And a good pick up of the half volley, but my goodness, it only just crept over the net. Thirty fifteen. Smash made comparatively easy by the magnificent length of the return of service, just an inch or two inside the line. That's an indication of how much harder the centre court is getting. I think the ball got up uh, between knee and waist height. Advantage, Miss Mandlikova. So a break point to make it four all.
Goose. Let me just add to what I said just now about the ball bouncing a little higher. Not, of course, when you put that amount of slice on the ball, that, of course, keeps it down. Advantage, Mrs. Corley. leads five games to three in the second set. She certainly has come with a rush of four games with two breaks of service to 5-1, uh, to, uh, from 3-1 to 5-3. So Hannah Mandikova serving to uh, stay in this second set. Love 15. Such a, an effective shot, that uh, slice there. A little bit longer than normal drop shot. 15, 30. So three five, thirty all, second set. Thirty forty. So that double fault gives Mrs. Corley set point to make it once at all. To Mrs. Corley, six games to three, one set all. An extraordinary game this is then. There she was, a set up in 3 1, Hannah Man Nicola, and she loses five games in a row, not at all. Well, I suppose that can happen to anybody, but Hannah seems particularly good at it. She's obviously trying to, she seems to find it difficult to forget the last shot when it's a bad one, and the last game when it's a bad one. Somehow when you're out there on this center court, if you play some bad points and some bad games, You've got to be able to put them in the past and try hard to concentrate on something positive for the next, for the next game and the next set. At this point, I feel she has to make a real, really big effort to try to win the first game of the final set, to re-establish herself in this match. Everything seems to have kind of slipped away from her at the moment. But of course, a lot of this is due to Yvonne Corley, who I think is stepping into the ball more now and is dictating to the ball instead of allowing the ball to dictate to her. Already then for the final set with the number four seed serving to the number nine seed. Final set, Mrs. Corley to serve. In the round of the last 16. Good 
Second service. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Forty, thirty. This is Corley, first game, final set. Well, and I must say that was a determined and uh, ferocious forehand from Mrs. Corley. You don't often see her really sort of beat into the ball like that. Her game is timing and rhythm and style, isn't it? But she really cracked that one. Well, I think she's taking the ball much earlier, Dan. She seems to be taking it right at the top of the bounce and, as I said last time, stepping into it and hitting it very, very firmly indeed. Of course, she has the ideal game for this centre court if she uses it to its best advantage. She has that beautiful slice backhand, which she pitches round about somewhere round about the service line and always going out into the tram lines. And the forehand, she can do exactly the same with that one too. Thus, she spreads her opponents, makes them run not only sideways, but forwards as well, which is very, very awkward indeed. Not only for that shot, but for any reco potential recovery. Miss Mandlikova to serve. Love one, final set. Love fifteen. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. And uh, this is Corley taking advantage of the slowness of the server coming in behind the service. He wasn't even up to the service line. Fifteen forty. Two break points. Thirty forty.
Corley leads two games to love, final set. I think it will take rather better second serving than that to disturb the backhand of Mrs. Corley right now. So two love in the final set, Mrs. Corley. Fifteen love. First service. Let's second service. Yes, second service. Fifteen all. So second double fought in the match, Mrs. Corley. Thirty fifteen. Very brilliant sun shining into the eyes of the server now. So as she goes in behind the volley, she has to quickly adjust her eyes to the uh, to the light in the background of the ball against the grass. Forty fifteen. Mrs. Corley leads three games to love, final set. And how can Yvonne play, serve two such terrible double faults and then play that beautiful volley to finish off the, the game with? It really was a, a dream of a shot. She's really attacking the balls, playing so firmly now, and yet... And how can Yvonne play serve two such terrible double faults and then play that beautiful volley to finish off the, the game with. It really was a, a dream of a shot. She's really attacking the balls, playing so firmly now, and yet somehow these odd points just seem to slip away. She plays a careless double fault or a careless volley, and then suddenly back it comes, and there she is standing at three love. But, from Hannah's point of view, poor Hannah, she's really lost her sense of purpose in this match. Everything's deserted her, and of course, strokes don't just reappear. You have to work at making them reappear. Concentrate hard, either stay back and play a few grand strokes, or make a, a big effort to get to the net. Not sort of think, well, shall I go to the net or shan't I, and hesitate. So then she seems to do neither well. So serving with new balls, love three, final set. And I'm wondering if she can love 15. stop the rot. She's lost eight games in a row from leading 3-1 in the second set. She's lost eight successive games. Fifteen all. 
Game to Mrs. Corley. Corley leads by four games to love. Final set. This is really rather sad on centre court. A girl with this quality and this talent who has completely gone to pieces. Fifteen love. And it's Mrs. Corley serving, leading for love in the third and final set. And that, that second ace makes it 30 love. Fall out forty fifteen. Oh, I see, there's a screaming winner. Forty thirty. That was probably the best shot in terms of shot making in the entire match. Leads five games to love. Final set. So, so an extraordinary run of ten games, Mrs. Uh, Corley, from one three done in the second set, five in each set, and here she is, five love final set. Well, certainly Yvonne is playing now extremely well, and how well she read that last point. Hannah had hit two beautiful ground strokes, but Yvonne knew she had to break up the pattern, so she gave her a delicate gentle drop shot. Hannah didn't anticipate it at all. But Hannah in that last game did play some, some tennis that we know she's capable of. She really has the most beautiful flowing ground strokes when she really needs them. But she can only produce them once in a while. And particularly now at this point in the match, that these occasions are very rare. Well, she's in a lot of trouble now. Love five, final set. Love 15.
Thirty fifteen. Oh, that's a loose one. Thirty all. Well, the serve had uh, provoked a rather high easy return, and what a sloppy volley that was. Thirty all. First service. Friday, 40. So it's match point. It's out. Good. Miss Manley well, here's a chance for uh, the girl from Czechoslovakia to win this point and at least stop the whitewash in this final set. Well, it stopped the enormous run of ten games in succession for Mrs. Corley. She's got her name on the scoreboard in the final Five set. Years. But Mrs. Corley now serving for this quarterfinal, uh, this last 16 match, the fourth round. So three more match points for Mrs. Corley. That's it. So a very easy win in the end for Mrs. Corley, who lost the first set, 6-7. And she now goes into the next round, the round of the last eight to play Wendy Turnbull of Australia, the number six seeded player. This is Paulie wins by 